Welcome to my sewing journey. Today I'm working on a knitting bag replacement and seasonal change out, which is a lot easier than what it sounds. Basically, you can get these knitting bags at a craft store, Walmart, or Target, wherever. Mine needed to be changed up because it was um, ripped and my knitting bag broke here. So I put some duct tape there. And then I made the base, which this will not come off. So your bag will just sit above this. And I just did that by sewing two pieces of fabric together and in between it putting a little elastic. Then next I made the bag. Now the bag was 36 inches long by 10 inches wide. So 36 inches long by 10 inches wide. I hem the top, I hem the sides. You don't have to hem it if you want to have a lining back, but I chose to not line this. Then next, I decided where, by putting it back on the, the loom, where to put the Velcro, because the Velcro is gonna hold it on to, I need this back again, sorry about that, onto this bar here. So in that wooden bar there, that's where the Velcro top will hold it down. I was going to use buttons, but then I thought not everybody can do a buttonhole. So I used Velcro instead. And next I decided on pockets. So you'll do this on both sides. And then next you do your pockets. Now I like to do everything on the fold. So my pocket was six and a half long by eight wide. And I sewed two pieces of that together. And then I sewed down for the, the crochet needles, and then I sewed it on, and then there's a pocket behind it to put like a pattern. And then I decided to have another pocket on the other side, but this one I didn't sew all the way onto the bag, I only sewed the sides onto it. So I sewed a piece of fabric that was six inches wide by 10 inches long. I hemmed the top, and then I just folded it and sewed it to the side seams. That way, if I want to stick something like knitting needles through there, I can, but I could also put my pens, pencils, uh, magnifying glass, whatever I want there. Next, I put on Velcro, and that will be to hold the seasonal change out, which we'll get to for a moment. It's easier to sew it at that stage. Then I sewed on the pockets. I mean, not the pockets, the sidewalls. I'm sorry, the sidewalls. Getting a little confused here. <laughs> We're up to the sidewalls. Six and a half by seven and a half. So six and a half wide by seven and a half high and I hemmed them and sewed them on right sides facing together. I started at the bottom first and then sewed it across and came up on the two sides. Did that on both sides. Next is the fun part. Now this is 36 inches long because this piece here which it'll be covering is 36 inches long and it is nine and a half wide. Now I decided to make a pocket on the inside to put patterns for the season. So this is where my summer spring patterns will go. And I put Velcro on that side and then I sewed right sides facing together and turned it to the right side. But I also sewed at the bottom just a little seam so that I could uh, keep, keep not have to pull everything up so it doesn't slide underneath the bag. So it'll just stay in place. Now these you can change out for the season. I mean, this would be nice for Christmas, make a Christmas one and have the reversible side, maybe Thanksgiving and have Halloween, have one with Halloween pumpkins on it. And maybe the reverse side, um, something patriotic. I don't know, but they are fun to decorate. And I would do the decorations on them before you sew them together because it's a lot easier. I did a daisy on here, just some felt cut out into a daisy pattern, sewed on. Then I made a little leaf, sewed that on, and then I sewed the center of the daisy on there. So all in all, it's a lot of fun to do. I hope you like this idea. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and happy sewing.